welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here and welcome to my kitchen we are going to have a fun video today where i'm going to share with you my very favorite must have kitchen gadgets on ww i have 10 must have items here in my kitchen that are going to help you be successful on your weight loss journey now do you have to have all of these in your kitchen of course not but these are the top 10 things that help me be successful on ww so let's go into my kitchen let's get into some cabinets the pantry and let's talk all things kitchen <music> So we are here in my kitchen. So this is my kitchen and we are going to spend some time here today going through all of the things that I find to be a necessity that are located right here for my ww journey so let's jump right in we're digging in cabinets we're going in the pantry we are finding all things kitchen related that help on ww number one is my espresso machine so we're right here on my kitchen counter this is my breville barista express espresso machine you guys this thing is a game changer for me this is an actual espresso machine that you find at a coffee shop so it's really easy to use you power it on and you can pull both single and double shots of espresso and i love this because i can determine exactly what is going in my cup of coffee i'm getting espresso shots and i'm not having to spend five six seven dollars a day with tip on coffee beverages this thing has been some of the best money that i've spent i buy beans from my local roaster i buy all the syrups powders all the things that i like to put into my cup of coffee but I'm telling you, if you are a big coffee drinker, espresso especially, highly recommend this. Getting a home espresso machine is a game changer and is going to save you a ton of money. So for my espresso machine, it has its very own cabinet. So you're gonna see my vital proteins. I have all of my skinny syrups. This is where my cups are, my knock box for the espresso machine. All the things that I put into my coffee, I keep here in my coffee cabinet so these are my favorite things along with creamers half and half nut pods those types of things but i have a special designated cupboard because it helps me keep organized and everything i need for my coffee is literally in the cupboard that is right above my espresso machine next we're going to go into this cupboard here because i want to share with you guys my food scale all right so i preach about this you have to have a food scale on any type of diet or healthy eating plan because you have to weigh and measure your food so you do not overeat. I like this food scale. This is a very old Weight Watcher scale. This one actually belonged to my dad and my dad passed away in 2013. So it's kind of holds a special place in my heart. I use it. It does kind of tweak out every once in a while. It is not available to purchase anymore. So I ended up buying another food scale that I love as well. So I'm gonna share that with you guys, but definitely have a food scale. So let's jump into the one that I bought recently that is amazing. So this is my newest food scale and this one, oh, it's kind of dirty, sorry guys. This one comes from eTech City. I did buy this off of Amazon. I like this one because it does milliliters, grams, and ounces where this one only does grams and ounces. So I use this one mainly if I have milliliters, but again, this one I used just because it was my dad's, but it is about time to retire this and move over to this one. I will link this eTech City Scale down below for you guys, but you have to have to have a food scale. Weighing and measuring anything that you eat is so important. Also in this same cabinet is another must have for me, and that is either a blender or my preferred is a magic bullet. So I use this all the time. You guys know I've been loving my smoothies. So I've actually been using my magic bullet a lot more than I used to use this. And I've been making my smoothies in the cup here and then I literally add a straw. Speaking of straws, let's jump to this drawer. This is also another coffee drawer, but I like to have the reusable straws. So I'll grab one of my either glass straws or my bigger plastic straws 
and I will use that to drink my smoothie out of the cup of the Magic Bullet. Having a blender or Magic Bullet is great if you're a smoothie drinker. Also, if you need to make a sauce, like puree down any vegetables for say a tomato sauce or a soup, this is just a great thing to have. And the Magic Bullet is very inexpensive. And then my regular blender is this purple guy here. This is a Dash, which is the same company that makes the waffle makers. And I think I paid $20 for my blender. So. It's a great thing to have whether you have a full size blender or you just have a magic bullet. Highly recommend adding that to your kitchen list. And lastly in that same cupboard is my Chef Min electric tea kettle. You guys know I love hot tea. This thing is amazing. You literally fill it with water, you turn it on, and in a matter of minutes you have hot water for tea. So if you are a hot tea drinker or you like to have hot water, this is an excellent kitchen gadget and this is really inexpensive as well. I really like the stainless steel. It keeps it nice and hot and it's super easy to pour from the spout here and then you just put it back on this base here for storage. Next up is waffle makers. These are great to not only make waffles, but you can also make chaffles with these. I recommend having a full size one, which I have this Black & Decker here. This is a great full size waffle maker. I've made a lot of Kodiak cake, birch bender waffles in here, but the love of my life is my little Dash waffle maker. This is like my mini little guy. These are about $10 on Amazon. I am going to link this and this down below for you guys, but have Having a waffle maker, in my opinion, is pretty essential because there are a lot of things that you can do with these, such as chaffles, which is eggs and cheese, and it creates a delicious waffle, or you can make just your traditional waffles, large and small. So I love both of these, but I gravitate a lot towards my cute little dash. Next up is a crock pot. Again, another absolute essential for me in my kitchen is a good crock pot. I recently picked this one up at Costco because it does have the programming and sometimes I'm not home for eight or 10 hours and my other one was the dial and my food would often get overcooked because I wasn't able to have it turn off or go to keep warm during the day when I was gone. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I also love that it has the clip close lid. It's huge, it's nice size. And another thing with a crock pot is I highly recommend a crock pot liner. It makes cleanup so much easier. You just pick it up and throw it away. You don't have to try to scrub out the inside of your crock pot. So in my opinion, if you work a full-time job or you're out of the house a lot and you just want dinner ready when you walk in the door, having a crock pot is such a great option. Next is my Instant Pot. I have an entire series here on my YouTube channel where I use my Instant Pot. I love this. It is a one pot. You throw everything in. In a matter of minutes, you have a full meal. It's easy to clean up. This is the fancy version of a pressure cooker. It has several preset options for soup, meat, stew. I use this all the time for hard boiled eggs. I use the five five method. So I hit my egg button for five minutes. I allow it to naturally release for five minutes and I throw it in an egg bath for five minutes and you have literally perfectly hard boiled eggs that the shell just falls off. So I love my Instant Pot for that. It's great for rice. I just cooked barley in this recently and it came out perfect. You literally can make full meals in here. Meatloaf, stews, soups, chicken breast, you name it. You can cook it in an Instant Pot. It is so easy. It's fast and again, it's one pot cleanup. So love my Instant Pot. I would recommend having this on hand or some type of a pressure cooker. Again, it's fast, easy, quick meals. Next up is an air fryer. I love my air fryer. I also have an entire video series here on my channel where I use the air fryer to make some amazing dinners. You can cook fries in here, chicken breasts in here, you name it, it cooks it like it's deep fried, but it is so much healthier and way less smart points. I have the power oven or the power air fryer oven elite. Mine, as you can see, is the oven style. It does come with a basket and it also comes with a rotisserie chicken. I love this because it's big. I can cook a lot of food at one time in my air fryer. And if I want to utilize the basket option, it comes with it and you just slide the basket right in. Otherwise you put your shelves here or your little racks here on these shelves to cook your food. So if you have a large family or you want to air fry several things at once, I recommend the oven style. And again, this is the power 
air fryer of an elite mine is red i think i bought red because it was on closeout for color but this air fryer is not that much more than the traditional basket style and again you can cook a lot more food in this if you have a large family highly recommend of course i'll link this down below for you guys but my air fryer is probably one of my top essential items in my kitchen next pretty basic pretty self-explanatory but the number one, my number one thing I have in my kitchen that I use every single day is measuring cups and measuring spoons. You guys, we have to measure and weigh all of our food. So I actually have four or five sets of measuring cups and two or three sets of measuring spoons so that I always have clean ones. Another trick you can do is keep these in the food items. So keep a measuring cup in your flour or in your bag of cereal or in your frozen fruit in the freezer. Just buy the cheapy ones at Walmart or the Dollar Tree and you can even just leave them in your food products. But for me, this is number one. I would say this is number one and then the food scale is right up there with it in order to be successful on really any weight loss journey. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can find these at your local Walmart, Dollar Tree. I like the fun ones. So I believe that these black ones, I'll link them if I can find them. These are the Hearth and Home from Target. And then these cute little measuring spoons I got from Home, or not Home Goods. I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. So I will link anything that I can find, but highly highly encourage you to have several sets of measuring cups and spoons on hand. And number 10 is some sort of steamer basket. So I have a couple options. This one actually sits directly in my pan so I can steam my vegetables. And then this one folds out to steam and into store. I think having a steamer basket is essential because steaming vegetables is a great way to preserve the nutrients. You can have any type of fresh vegetable warm through steamed in a matter of minutes. You can also use this for your meats if you wanted to do that. There are so many options with these steamer baskets. I also will often use these as a colander because you can pour your pasta in there. These are just great to have on hand. Normally pan sets will come with one. And then this one I picked up at TJ Maxx. So you can find these steamer baskets just about anywhere for really, really inexpensive, but it just helps you have a healthier version of vegetables. We're gonna head into my pantry for a couple of honorable mentions. No judging on my pantry. So a couple of other honorable mentions as far as kitchen gadgets go is over here in the corner, you'll see that I have a food processor. This is a great option. It helps chop vegetables, fruit a lot faster. I don't use it as much as I thought that I would, but it's nice to have an option of having a food processor. And then I've got my air fryer, my instant pot. And then next up would be a mixer, like a kitchen aid mixer. This just, again, helps baking, cooking, mashed potatoes, whipping. I mean, you can do just about anything here with a KitchenAid mixer. I do actually use this a lot, but I do find myself gravitating more towards a hand mixer because it's a little bit more convenient than pulling this out of my pantry. But these four items are down here for a reason because I use them all the time. Thank you so much for joining me today on my top 10 must haves in the kitchen for WW. These 10 things I use literally almost daily. They help me stay on track, be on track, lose weight and eat healthy. So I'm so excited to share these 10 things with you guys. I will be linking everything down below in the description box for you. So if you're interested in picking up any of the things that I shared with you today, they will be down in the description box below. Also in the description box are the links and discount codes to my favorite things, as well as the link to come on over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you at Jen's WW Tribe. It is such a fun, supportive, wonderful place to be. So click the link in the description box and you can join the Facebook group. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, welcome. I have tons of WW content. You guys, I have over 500 videos. That is insane to me. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on whenever I upload something new, you'll be notified so you don't miss out. Thumbs up this video if you loved learning all things kitchen and leave your comments down below. Let me know what are your favorite kitchen items that help you on your WW journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me in my kitchen and I'll see you in my next video.